the punch lines are begging to be written. Perhaps, something like, Justin Trudeau forgot to announce one more removal from his cabinet shuffle, his wife. Or, even worse, Trudeau's next separation hopefully will be from his office. That's harsh. And I shouldn't have written those hurtful lines. But, dear reader, those are examples of what comedians, talk show hosts and people sharing a cool beverage with one another might share. Slapping their knees, extending hilarity as long as possible. I now and accept, fully, I will be carved by some who consider this journalistic journey as self-righteous and, brace for it now. Grandpa, preachy. Yet, although I have, thankfully, never personally been through a divorce, I have many friends who have. Their pain is obvious. The hurt is like no other. So many hopes and dreams distinguished. With no change of being reignited. Canadian judges bang gavels to grant divorces 42,933 times in 2020. None of those divorces, however, will come into the public arena and be scrutinized like the Trudeaus. They are public figures. I get that. The amount of speculation, especially in these days of how simple it is to express oneself, would be rampant when Trudeau appears at a state dinner, single. Without his wedding ring. Twitter, or, X, I think, could suffer a system and user overload, never to be revived. Going public with a personal challenge is noble. It's also very hard to do. So, let's examine the white elephant's footprint on the page, I am not a liberal, and certainly don't endorse Trudeau's leadership. Not at all. My sympathy, and yes, honestly it is, is for the Trudeau family. Especially the three children, Xavier, Ella Grace, and Hadrian. The fishbowl they swim in as the Prime Minister's kids just went for an end over end spill, sending the trio into unsettling and uncharted waters. It is those children we must treat compassionately, and do all we can, individually and collectively, to support them. Their research suggests some grade school children, like Hadrian, often take their parents' divorce on their backs, it is their fault, they think. For teenagers, such as Xavier and Ella Grace, anger easily sets in. They can take sides with one parent. Or both of them, for their once cozy house becoming a stark home. Mental health, enough said. Now pile on the public pressure and seeing, listening, and reading online comments and a perfect storm over Ottawa slowly builds. Listing Trudeau's political and personal scandals is pointless and does not have much to do with their marital affairs. In his Wednesday Instagram post, Trudeau asked for privacy as they navigate through the matter. Let's accept it and embrace it. If we don't, the young Trudeaus could very well be headed down a dangerous and destructive path. One thing is crystal clear. That is not funny.